Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Kelfie B. Welcome to my channel. Today's video, I'm doing like a, uh, this like challenge, my first kind of like makeup challenge. It's... My kitten's crying. What is it? Okay. So anyway, the challenge is like, it's like a random three colors from one palette and I have to create a look with it. And I created this look. So now that I'm thinking about it, I probably should have filmed an intro earlier so that you guys didn't see what the look turned out like. Hmm. The rules are I randomly I had to write down every single color from the palette and I separated them matte and shimmer and I randomly select two mattes and one shimmer color and I have to create a look with it. So as you can see it turned out okay but stay tuned. Stay tuned to see what colors these are, what palette I used and how difficult and how difficult it was for me to come up with all this and it's a pretty chatty video i don't know if you guys wanted to get to know me or like chatty videos better than voiceover videos i know some people prefer chatty videos over voiceover videos so yeah i thought i would give it a try okay so i have already done my eyebrows and i put some concealer on my eyelids and my forehead and blended it out if you're wondering why i look so weird Shimmers in this bag, mattes in this bag. I don't like to do chatty videos, not because I don't have anything to talk about, but um, I have roommates and I don't want them to hear me talking and I don't want you guys to hear them talking, so you're gonna experience that today. Okay, so I didn't put in any of the face colors just because they're kind of plain and not exciting. I only did the smaller colors. I really hope I don't get Social Blade. I don't know why so many people use that in their videos, but it's one of my least favorite colors in here, and I don't like Pinkity Drink either. It's kind of just really sheer or opaque. I don't know. But besides that, I'm really ex I hope I get like, what's that? Cape Cod or Cola. Those are really pretty. So anyway, let's get into it. Alright, so first two mattes. The first color is going to be cola. <laughs> Stop. No. It's cola. Now I have regret telling you guys what I want. It looks like I make that up. Okay, and the second matte, well, hopefully it's something that will go with cola. The second matte color is going to be punch me. Oh, this like light color brown. That was almost my other color that I didn't really want. But I guess it could be like a cool, I don't know, it's like this brown. So now the shimmer color, sister sister oh ah it's this other like really light color right next to punch me there's sister i don't even know if you can see it all right i'll see what i can do with those i'm going to start with the punch me color and do my crease so yeah i really wish this palette had like a mirror but it's for the price of the palette i think it was like 29.99 i want to say and then i bought it at ulta and i had like a 20 percent off coupon so i got it for like very very cheap and people complain that the names are not like right under the colors they're like i'm just gonna lose this paper plastic nameplate thing anyway and i'm like why i just taped mine in you could glue it in, you could tape it in. Like, I don't understand. It's really simple. I had no trouble not losing it. I really like this color. I probably would have never used this color. I thought it was way too, like, sheer or whatever. Uh, and I don't know where I'm going with this, though. Where am I going to put blue? What does this blue color look like? The cola color? I've never even swatched it. Oh my god, it's so... Oh, okay, I think I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to make this crease as deep as I can with this color. So I'm going in a lot, but... It's pretty cute. I really wish I was funny. Like, I was watching Emma Chamberlain's new video where she's, like, making a dumb burrito, which wasn't funny, but she had this really funny story about her mailman. <laughs> and I tried to retell the story to my boyfriend, and it was really... He was like, I don't get it. But, man. So I'm gonna try to think of, like, a story like that. No, I'm not funny. So I'm gonna cut this crease just for no reason because you can't really see anyway. Man, I'm the worst. I'm trying to think of when people ask me updates about my life. I'm like, man, I don't know. Mine and my boyfriend's anniversary is coming up for three year. And last year, not for our anniversary, but just for a trip, we went to this inn called the Ragged Inn. It's in San Simeon or like Big Sur. I don't really know the difference. I guess they're like right next to each other. 
and it is so pretty there and he got us a room there for a third anniversary and I'm super excited. I guess I'll blend it, the brown in again. Do people do this? I don't know. All right, now I'm gonna go into the color Sister with my finger and hope for the best and put it on this. It really doesn't seem that shimmery on my finger. Ooh, I like it. Man, I really like this challenge. Even if nobody likes this video, at least I tried all these colors I would, would never have tried. I couldn't decide what palette I wanted to do it with because I didn't know if I liked this palette that much. I do, I did know that it had a lot of cool colors but I was like, I don't know if I'll ever use them. I don't know about the quality of them, but I'm so glad I picked this one. It's really informative. All right, so for the blue color, I'm gonna do a very unoriginal under eye. So I'll do like a basic brown on top and then my under eye is gonna be blue and hopefully it turns out kind of cute. I already did go under my eye with some of this brown just to smoke it up. Now I'm gonna take just a little tiny brush and go into cola. This one girl, I forget who it was, but I was watching her do a James Charles palette look on YouTube and she was like, I don't understand why cola is blue. The label is red. What is blue about Coca-Cola and like all this stuff? And in my mind, I was like, Pepsi. I'm pretty sure Pepsi Cola is like what this is named after and that's blue, so she thought. All right, I'm kind of wishing I didn't put the brown under my eye to like make it all smoky. I wanted the blue to pop more. I don't know if there's, I'm doing something wrong, but I cannot see colors under my eyes ever. Like I can see that it's darker, but I can't see what color it is and I can't take pictures of it. Like I think it, my lid just doesn't work that way. This is not blending cute. Oh my God. What's happening? This blue is not coming out cute with the brush let me see yeah it looks way oh my goodness maybe what should I do I can't use my finger in that space I guess I'll just try harder I'm not hating it anymore I like this challenge I think I want to do it I definitely want to do it with my other I guess I could just do it on my own I don't have to like do it on a video oh it's so cute I'm gonna put a little I'm gonna darken the outside with that punch me color a little bit more. I like what it looks like so I'm just gonna keep going and mess it up like usual. Those are my three colors but I'm not done with the eye. I like to clean up underneath with my concealer before I finish oh it's slouching on before I finish with highlighting like the brow bone and the inner corner and stuff. Sometimes I do it before I do my under eye and then sometimes I do it after and in either way no matter which way I do it, I'm like, why did I do it this way? Usually if I do it before, then I still have a f little bit of stuff to clean up after. And then if I do it after, I'm just like ruining any smokiness that I did, you know? But I can just go back in again, I guess, with this. So now there's blue all over my fluffy brush. Hopefully that doesn't make a difference. How come people hate voiceover videos so much? Nobody has said anything to me about voiceover videos. Like, obviously, people don't really talk to me. They're not that active on my YouTube yet, on my comments. I have two kind of popular videos, but they're not popular because of my personality. They're just popular because of the topics. The first one is my Pill Club video. It's kind of popular. And then I have a Firefox. Is it Firefox? Arctic Fox hair color video. And the, I hated... I didn't hate those videos, but I was like, ew, I'm so bad at talking oh i'm so glad no one watches my videos yet and those videos both have like a couple thousand views and i'm like my talker ones but um people are pretty active on those asking me lots of questions lots of questions that i kind of explain the answers to in the video but that's okay i don't mind i feel like i have really like wide apart set weird like camel eyes and sometimes the cut crease does not work for me I'm surprised that this is the color he named sister because it's kind of like not that great you know like you would think he would name like this the artistry one sister or something like something really bright or like this gold one I'm surprised he just made such a like peachy color the sister one not subscribed to James Charles so maybe I don't know what I'm talking about but time for the blue for the Pepsi Cola I think if you didn't think of Pepsi Cola right when you found out that this color was called Cola, then you probably don't listen to Lana Del Rey. 
but see I feel like you can barely tell it's blue it just looks like dark I hear people praise like Tarte Shape Tape a lot and I used to be like it's not that great but I've been trying to find like a replacement concealer for it concealer and to be honest it is that great I've bought in like two other ones just two other ones and they were the um Too Faced Born This Way everyone swears by those two and they're like they're so much better than Tarte they're more hydrating and yeah they say they have hyaluronic acid in it but they don't they haven't changed my skin like the Tarte Shape Tape seems drying but it makes my skin look a lot more plump and like smooth theirs made it look like I had like super wrinkled weird skin it was weird I haven't highlighted on my brow bone in a long time cuz I don't know I didn't like it but I just did it again recently and now I like it again so I'm gonna Use this little weird brush and highlight my brow bone with that sister color. There's an airplane flying by. Now I'm going to use my pinky and do the inner corner. A lot of girls like highlight their inner corner crazy, like a big circle, and then their it like ends up coming down here, and it's super aging and it looks very bad. And I used to not highlight the inner corner either because I would do that on accident and I'd be like ew it looks so weird what's going on I finally realized that's what was going on so I just keep it kind of high and I don't want it attached to my crease because that makes me have camel eye also I have a friend that's always talking not crap but like about internet makeup youtube guru people she says that too many people like listen to them and take their advice when everybody's face is different and what would look cute on someone's face won't look cute on someone else's face and she's right a lot of people ask me to like do their makeup for them but i wouldn't know how to do someone else's makeup like i only know how to do my own makeup barely and that's because i've been doing my own makeup on my own face for like 10 years this is what 10 years of practice gets you but what do we think i like it okay so let's finish up my face I'll, I will use face as a highlight. I've been wanting to try that. Face is this big color here. It looks really dark and brown, but I see a lot of people use it on the interweb. And it looks really champagne-y. Ooh, I like it. Oops, got a little bit of tune in there. Ooh, that is really, really cute. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Oh my goodness, I didn't think that the highlight would be this this good, but I don't know why. I, ex I just, I don't know James Charles that much, so I don't know why I expected this not to be that good. And I don't know Morphe that well either. I am so happy with it. And I'm happy with this eye look. I honestly... 100% would have never tried Punch Me or Sister. They just looked like, they looked like they didn't have much pigment to them, but I'm all like super pleasantly surprised. All right, I think I'm all done. So here's the finished eye look. I don't know if it is me, and that's why you can't see what the underneath of my eye looks like, but we talked about this already. But yeah, so there's Punch Me, Sister, and Cola. And I quite think it turned out pretty cute. Quite. I really didn't do anything like original though. I've seen a lot of people do like a basic crease color with the with like a blue or like another like outrageous color underneath. But um, I'm glad I tried it because I would have never. I should have. I should have seen like what cola looked like on everything with just like the brown underneath. That would have been cool too. Oh well. Alright, so anyway, my name is Kofi B. Sorry if everything I talked about was like the most boring stuff you've ever heard. But um, I'm interested to know what your guys' favorite James Charles palette colors are. And if you could put them in the comments below, that would be super cool. So far, I have not tried that many, but I think my favorite colors are now Punch Me. I really like Punch Me. I really like the highlighter, the highlight face. Um, this skip color is actually cute and fun to work with. 
let me know down below and i want to know your least favorite too mine is definitely social blade and pinkity drinkity they're just like not colors i would go to already and then the fact that they're like weird quality is like what's the point of them now thank you so much for watching um i make new videos every monday so yeah have a good day bye